Good God, this thing is filthy. I guess Jake was right. Stuff happened. <laughs> I think I gave the tool I need to get the filter off from Jake. Uh, <laughs> problem. <laughs> I get entirely way too dirty for doing just a little bit of work, but I mean, it's got to get done. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take the camera. See what I mean? That's oil. And I have no idea how it got there. Like, I know I'm going to do a wash on this thing a little bit. See, I find oil changes so boring, I got to keep a rock star to stay awake. Oh, that's some good stuff right there. Now, I don't know what it is that I ran over or through or into or what, but it's left this nasty sticky film of stuff all on like all on the inside of the fender well look at that it's nasty and it's sticky too it's gross don't know what it is but hopefully this stuff will get it off apparently i bought a really bougie wash bucket at o'reilly um it could and i didn't know they could get this high tech but apparently we have a washboard here to for something i guess and then there's these raised rivets here that for tool cleaning there's this little indentation here they're calling that the hose clip for some odd reason down at the bottom it's grit tracks I don't know but here oh that in case you didn't know it's the pour spout it could also be used as a brush rest uh, yeah. and over here on this side not on this side it's got to be on this side it's a towel rack bougie AF Well, this didn't work. And one of them cheap expandable hoses. Completely ripped through its own stitching. And yeah, now I've just got one big long balloon. Okay, mission accomplished. New hose, new nozzle required. Try this again.
Now, I got a buddy of mine who does this for a living. His name's Joe, and the last time he did my truck, he did an awesome job, and uh, I'm winded from doing this. But uh, you can see the bumpers just faded out, and the grills faded out. I got some stuff that Joe used last time to uh, get those back up, and uh, I'm gonna try that again, because it really made it look good. So uh, yeah, and then we'll get to the surprise. All right, everybody. I filming this one on my phone because the GoPro's acting up a little bit, but I want to give a shout out to Joe, my buddy, he's the car detailer guy. He showed me this stuff and it's like 15 bucks at O'Reilly's and I swear, I just increased the value of my pickup truck. Like, holy crap. Y'all saw at the beginning of the video how good that looked. Oh, man, it's so nice. Mm, 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 mm. Now, I am what the government calls a expendable, I mean, essential employee, hence the sticker here. But uh, the surprise I've got in store, it's gotta go. So, bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Ooh, buddy. Oh, and uh, yeah, got these little ones right here. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm going to give a quick um, thank you very much to Ashley from Simply Inspired. I'll link to her Facebook page down in the description. She's the one that made this sticker for me. She also made the sticker, the uh, COVID-19 uh, expendable empl essential employee sticker. Uh, she does great work. Fantastic. It gets... It gets you really fast. She's really reasonable on the price. So go ahead, hit her up. Uh, again, Ashley, thank you. It looks fantastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, on these little ones here, if you guys want one, which I'm probably sure you may or may not, who cares? If I get enough interest out of people for these, I'll probably end up making a small order from Ashley on getting these done up, and I'll see how much it is I can charge on those. Anyway. I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.